And I want to show you all this because it's very possible, okay? 1.3 million in revenue. Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome to the channel. First of all, thank you for tuning in, subscribing, and all of that, showing love. Um, you guys really inspired me to like keep pushing content out to help you with your e-commerce journeys and all of that. So it's been a good time, and I figured I'd take this opportunity to kind of share my story with you a lot of you have been asking questions like, how did I get started? How long was I practicing uh, just e-commerce in general? So I figured this would be a great video to kind of connect with y'all and just let y'all know how I got here and what my journey with e -com has been like in the past 18 months to two years. So before I even get started, I want to show you the actual screen recording of my results because I know there's a lot of trolls there. Make sure it's focused first. But I'm gonna just open this up. Let's go to last year, actually. So I'm gonna go to last year, just so y'all can see. Um, so right here, this is last year, 2018, did one million in revenue. Um, I'm gonna just open this up to, let's say the last 18 months. So I'm gonna go five, actually let's go with June of 2017 to May. <clears throat> of 2019 and I want to show you all this because it's very possible okay 1.3 million in revenue and if y'all know me on any type of personal level you know that I don't you know post results or you know flaunt about these type of things so in no way is this to show off but I want to show you all that this is real okay 400,000 in net profit in the past 18 months so um and just to show y'all what it's looking like for today, this is actually, let me make sure it's focused. All right, $2,000 in revenue today alone at around a 30% profit margin. So that is the reality of it, okay? The e-commerce is booming right now and there's no better time to get into e-commerce. So I know there's a lot of curiosity as to how all these millennials becoming rich overnight with these uh, like crazy success stories. Despite all the scammers and the fake gurus out there, there there's plenty of opportunity in e-commerce. And you know, I just pride myself on being transparent with y'all. So again, I'm not trying to show off in any type of way. I just want to show that it's very possible. You know, where I come from, not too many people are known to make it out from you know starting a successful legitimate business especially online since it's so new so you know if i can inspire anybody out there to get this going for themselves then i did my job but i want to back up a little bit i want to rewind to when i first got started and how i actually ended up in this position you know moving into my new apartment being able to drive my dream car travel the world so as you may know i started my e-commerce store exactly two years ago so the the crazy thing is that exactly on this day two years ago may 23rd i opened my first e-commerce store and this was just two days after i graduated college and the reason i did it so early is because i knew i didn't want to work the traditional nine to five job right so i played college sports but my chances at going pro was very slim you know coming from a d3 college i've always had that entrepreneurial spirit i i knew i didn't want to work a traditional nine to five job it just wasn't for me i was selling candy in high school i was that guy right and you know shout out to my man damien but we used to walk around the streets of new york looking for cars to shovel out during a snowstorm and try to make a little side money we even go downtown in in new york city you know offering people to clean their windows for their businesses with a squeegee and some Windex. And we did that, you know, just to make a couple hundred dollars throughout the week so that we didn't have to ask our parents to buy us the new Jordans that we wanted. So I really didn't have that much options growing up, right? Like my parents were poor. I came from a poor family. I lived in the projects for all my life. So, you know, the chances of actually making it out was very slim. And when I found this opportunity, I took I took it on, you know, 100%. And I just always liked the idea of starting my own business, generating my own money, you know, and, and being financially free in that sense. And as I got older, it started to grow um, into me more. So during college, as I was playing college sports, you know, when sports ended, I had to really figure out and hone in on what type of business did I want to start? Because I knew I didn't want to work the nine to five job. So I started a t-shirt business called Kamara Claus. And this was a business where I basically took regular t-shirts and threw like African print on them to kind of add some, some, you know, some swag to it. And it did really well. Like, uh, as far as the idea, I think it was a great business model, but 
I didn't have the right infrastructure. And I quickly realized that I was capped at growing my business because I was only selling to the people on campus. I was only selling to my inner circle and people that I knew. And that was great and everything, you know, I appreciate the support, but I wanted to reach the world. I wanted to be, you know, international. I wanted to have my products reach people in Europe. I had to really hone in on how I was going to market and scale my business at that point. And that was around the same time I started just Googling stuff online, like how to market, how to create a website. As I started doing a lot of research online and trying to find out ways to market my products, I started seeing videos for dropshipping pop up. This was a very attractive business model to me at the time because think about it, I had basically no money in the bank. I had like less than $400 from my t-shirt business saved up, ready to invest into the next business model. And drop shipping stuck out because I didn't have to hold the inventory. All I had to do was put money up front for marketing. So I had the $400 in my bank account ready to go and I figured I'd have a better chance of multiplying that $400 using a drop shipping business model rather than just having to sit in my savings account or trying to buy more t-shirts that just wasn't gonna sell. I'm coming across a lot of videos that are just overwhelming, it's confusing, and people are just trying to sell courses and things like that. So, of course, I came across a lot of scammers, and and but I didn't let that stop me, right? I didn't let that stop me from moving forward because I saw the true potential, and I knew that there's actual people making real money with uh, drop shipping. Now, this is a time where I'm still searching for jobs, right? Because my logic was I went to college for the past four years, spent $180,000 on an education, so I might as well just find a job, all right? Like, it was the next natural progression of things to do naturally. So I just did it anyways because, you know, that's what everybody else was doing, and, you know, I didn't want that money of that I invested into a diploma and a degree to just go to waste. So I'm still searching for jobs here and there, but I found time throughout the day to dedicate about two hours a day to just building my store. So I constantly worked on my store, constantly, you know, try to learn new things to implement it. After spending like $300 on ads, I made my first sale. My first sale was in the amount of $16.92. And even though I had basically spent more on ads than I made in revenue, that first sale was the best feeling in the world. It let me know that this was possible. And whatever I did to get that first sale, all I had to do was do that 100 million times. So I kept grinding and grinding. Like I was putting in work. And after, as I'm getting denied from all of these jobs, I'm starting to see the results from my business go up. You know, just a constant two hours a day working on it, investing in my self-knowledge, and applying everything that I'm learning into this business just two hours a day, I see my results go up crazy. So the next month after I started, I actually did about $1,000 in sales. And I was like, wow. Next month after that, I did $10,000 in sales. And the month after that, another 10,000. So within four months of just drop shipping and being introduced to this new business model, I was already making more in passive income than a nine to five job would make me in a year. I saw this as a great opportunity and I just stopped the whole nine to five job search. I just didn't think it was worth it. And tell you the truth, after that first taste of just passive income, getting paid while you're asleep, you can never go back to nine to five. You can never, you can never look at a nine to five job the same. It's just not worth your time at that point. I ended up finishing the year of 2017 with $150,000 in sales just as an amateur. I didn't have too much knowledge, just learning things as I go. And now I was, I was at a crossroads, right? I can still try and work a traditional job and you know grow my business on the side, or I could just go all in on one thing. I decided to go all in on the dropshipping thing. So as I'm doing this, all of 2018 was just investing in, in knowledge, you know, finding mentors. I went to a bunch of masterminds. I traveled, you know, crazy places across the world just to connect with other entrepreneurs who are doing the same thing. So after I've seen a lot of their success and their stores and their strategies up, up front, I was just like, yo, I could easily apply this to my business. And that's why you see such an exponential growth from just doing $150,000 my first year to the second year doing over a million dollars in revenue with my store. And still to this day, my stores are up and running, doing well, and it's allowed me to do crazy things that I can't even, like if you was to tell me two years ago that I'd be able to travel the world on my own time, on my own terms, you know, wake up when I want, 
when I please, drive the car of my dreams, move into my dream apartment here, and you know, just be financially free, not having to worry about the burden of bills and student loans and all those things racking up. I would laugh at you in your face, okay? Because where I come from, I come from the projects. Not too many people make it out uh, legitimately with, with, you know, without having to do some illegal activity or, you know, the stats honestly say that where I come from, I'm supposed to be locked up in jail or just working a traditional nine to five getting paid minimum wage. And had I listened to those stats, I would have been in a completely different situation than I am in now. Not too many people make it out with a legitimate online business. It's not like a common thing. So, you know, this was a long and, and rough journey. I want you to see that this is not some overnight thing. I didn't just, I had to put in work, okay? And a lot of people expect to just get into the e-commerce space and you know start a store and start pumping out millions no you're gonna need a right system that works and i had to spend the last 18 months pretty much just learning what works and what doesn't work probably spent just over twenty thousand dollars on just research and you know mentorship coaching things like that that helped me propel my results and get those exponential results year after year so i'm expecting to do a little over two million this year but you don't want to hear about how much I'm making, right? I, you want to see how you can apply this to yourself. And honestly, I want to get this message out there to as many people who think that it's difficult to get started with e-commerce. So you watching this, I want you to leave with five takeaways from this video and this little short story of mine, right? So first thing is just don't follow the natural next progression in life, okay? It's okay to stop and ask yourself, what do I really want out of this life? What is my true purpose here? It's okay to stop, look yourself in the mirror and, and ask yourself, are you happy with where you are? And you know, are you happy with where you're headed? You don't need to have the answers right away, but the first step is being honest with yourself, of realizing where you are and where you wanna go. The second thing I want you to take away is don't let outside factors just determine um, what happens to you, okay? The moment I started seeing results increase in my life exponentially is when I started taking accountability for my own actions, my own life, and my own decisions. Everything that happened to me in 2018, whether good or bad, I was 100% responsible for. You know, my past experience, you know, being scanned by some people who call themselves gurus and mentors, I didn't let that stop me from the, the possibility of achieving success with e-commerce. So don't let one bad experience ruin the, the opportunities ahead of you. The truth is there's gonna be scammers in every industry and you know, if you let every, every single bad moment predict your next move or all the outside factors and noise and the politics and what people have to say, then you're always gonna be trapped inside the box. The third thing I want you to take away is that one thing leads to the next, okay? You don't need to have every single detail and every single step planned out ahead of you. It doesn't have to be that simple. And in fact, that's kind of boring. You know, you want to go ahead into situations like these, take risks, but learn as you go so you can minimize the risk. You think when I started e-commerce that I had a, a clear idea of how every single step worked? No, I kind of just took action. I dove into it, you know, head first, and I kind of just learned as I went on. The fourth thing I want to talk about is investing in your knowledge circle, okay? Keep a group of people around you that are motivated just like you, that have the same aspirations. I know we all heard of the law of attraction and I actually have a group with my guys and we go ahead and we share each other's uh, business ideas, you know, goals, aspirations, shit like that. So when, you know, when you're feeling down and things aren't going as well, you can always have a group or uh, like-minded people to go to that, that's going to keep you motivated and they're going to keep you accountable to finding resources and bringing that back to the group so that that group can reciprocate the energy back to you and basically leveraging their opinions and their thoughts and their past experiences and how you can apply that to your business as well it's very powerful if you have the right amount of people in this group so go out and find two to three people that you trust are like-minded and are motivated and i'm I guarantee you that in the next two years, no matter what you do, you're gonna have, you're gonna be that much closer to reaching your financial freedom goals than you were before that. And the last thing I want you to take away is that if I could do it, anybody could do it, okay? And I don't wanna, this, that's probably the most cliche thing to say right now, but if a kid from the projects could do it, then 
anybody could do it, okay? Less than $400 and being able to turn that into a multi-million dollar business in the next 18 months is something unheard of, okay? But it's very possible in today's day and age thanks to the internet and thanks to Wi-Fi. And to further prove that, I wanna show you that other people do this too with absolutely no experience. And you know, for example, I have students who do $6,000 a day. Uh, my friend Rome, he does $1,000 a day on repeat, close to $2,000 and he's still growing. My little brother from his dorm room does $30,000 a month, okay? And like, it's just that possible. And the only reason why people don't see success with e is because they don't start. So again, I'm gonna link that 10 day challenge absolutely free in this description. And you go ahead and start seeing results with your first e-commerce business in the next 10 days, absolutely free on me. My motivation is that when I started seeing more financial freedom and traveling and meeting business partners, I started seeing less and less people that look like me. Okay, so where I come from, not too many people are gonna take advantage of opportunities like this. But lucky for you, if you come across this video, then you have an opportunity presented in front of you that not too many people in the world are gonna have an opportunity to see in their whole entire lives. So the worst case scenario is that you are in the same position that you started in, or you learn that e-commerce is not for you. And you know, it's really hard to believe that after you achieve your first sale, that you aren't gonna be motivated enough to make a thousand more sales after that. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So, you know, again, like I said, worst case scenario is that you learn e-commerce is not for you, or you learn that um, you are in the same position that you started in while watching this video. So go ahead, take advantage of those resources. And to celebrate this two year mark of me opening my first store, I wanna give one lucky subscriber free access to my private mastermind group and course, and uh, which is valued at 9.97, okay? And this is where I spend most of my time engaging with students, answering your questions in our private Facebook group. You also get access to my back end course, which is seven and a half hours of content, step by step, tutorials that's just going to show you how to go from complete beginner to being a master at digital marketing and owning an e-commerce store. So one lucky subscriber is going to have that opportunity. All you got to do is comment down below what you would do with an extra $10,000 a month in your pocket cash. What would you spend it on and how would that change your life? I'm going to pick one lucky person and announce it on my Instagram and I'm going to give you a free course to my private mastermind group. But in all, again, I hope you learned something, a thing or two today. I hope you feel inspired. Again, if you got some value, like, comment, subscribe, show me some love and, you know, all the best to y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Everything